Hi, Herwan from Motion VFX. In this tutorial, I would like to show you that we can use transition not only to mix two clips, but also to remove or add effects and create some cool effects like this one, for example. The nice thing about this project is fully procedural. So there are no render, no export to other software. It's only a Final Pro 10 project, so it's possible to modify everything. So let's start and discover how it works. First, you need a video clip. I will start by adding some color correction on this clip by using Amlat. Mlot gives me access to many LUTs packages from Motion VFX, but also you can import your own LUT. You just have to click on the thumbnail to see the preview inside the viewer. I will go to the brand new MFilm2 packages, which contain 30 LUTs. And I will select the NLUT. Then I will need a title. So by pressing Ctrl plus T, my text will appear on the top of my clip. I will type Berlin Night and choose the right font. And then adjust the size and the position. Okay, the next step will be to select the two elements and create one compound clip. I will place the playhead in the middle of my compound clip. And by pressing the B, I will activate the blade tool to add a cut. So now I've got two parts. I will select the first one and open the filters library. I will go to the native distortion effect folder from Final Cut Pro 10 and select the water pane effect. As you can see, this effect had raindrops on the top of my video. It's nice, but I would like to blur a little bit my background video. So inside the blur folder, I will drag and drop the Gaussian blur effect, but it will blur everything, even my raindrops. I can manage this problem by going inside the inspector and changing the order of the effects, like this. So now I can adjust the amount of blur. For the water pen, I can adjust the refraction amount. By default, the water pen add a blue tint, so you can change this color. But for this example, I want that the first part match with the second part. So I will put the tint intensity to zero. Also, I will remove the vignette effect as it will desaturate the clip. I will have to add the transition now. You can use any transition you want as this effect can work with any transitions. In this case, I will use the M transition brush from Motion VFX. You can preview the different transitions by skimming them directly. I can test this one. So I will drag and drop this transition on my cut. Nice, but I would like to reveal the text first. So I will use the transition 15. In the inspector, you have access to the transitions parameters. I can change the direction of the reveal. For the text, it will be better from the left to the right. So I can flip horizontally. To complete the effect, I will select all the elements and create a second compound clip. And I will go to the effects library in order to add mfilm look effects, as it will help me to quickly add a better look with the letterbox and the vignette effect. As I've mentioned before, this project is procedural, so I can change any elements, just have to go inside the compound clips and modify the text, for example. Or if you want to change a lot to have a different atmosphere, just go back to Mlut and change the preset, for example. Also, you can add a logo to replace the text. It's simple, fast, and truly efficient. If you want to know more about Motion VFX, Mlut Film 2, and Transition, and other plugins and templates, one address, motionvfx.com. If you want to discover more tutorials, don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell to be notified for the new content. See you there. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.